Anyone who's been driving around our state this summer doesn't need to be told that some of our roads aren't in very good condition. And it's not just things like rough pavements, dangerous crossroads, or sharp curves. Too many of our highways are just out of date. You couldn't expect them to be otherwise, not after the combination of the Depression, when the state had no funds, and the war, when we couldn't get labor or materials. The thing that's surprising is that many of our highways aren't in worse shape. Today, of course, we're doing lots of fixing. In the six years since VJ Day, our state has spent $500 million on building or repairing 3,500 miles of road in the most comprehensive highway program ever undertaken. But the real trouble is that our present roads just aren't big enough. Clearly, something must be done if much of our state's commerce is not to grind slowly to a stop. One glance at history tells us what must be done. The old Erie Canal, our state's first great commercial highway, put many of our cities on the map. Because the canal brought trade and commerce to and from Canada and the American West into New York State. So today, we need a great new commercial highway. The Thruway, linking New York City with Albany. with Schenectady and along the canal's route to Utica. Syracuse. Rochester. To Buffalo up to Niagara Falls and down to the Pennsylvania border and all the cities in between. We need this marvelous superhighway to end traffic jams like this, to take trucks out of our cities and put an end to this. And we're getting the throughway. On finished sections, trucks are already saving you time and money. And for defense, the throughway will be a military thoroughfare for safeguarding every part of the state. Look at the savings the throughway will bring. The truck on the throughway reaches its destination before the truck on our present highways is even in the picture. To manufacturers, the throughway will mean a highway to new business. To employees, new homes in the country within commuting distance of work. To our vacation lands, more visitors spending over two billion vacation dollars every year on meals, in stores, for lodging, for transportation, and for amusements. This is the throughway we're building. Clearly, this is the solution to our traffic problems. A superhighway 535 miles long, running from one end of our state to the other without a steep hill, a red light, a crossroad, or a sharp curve. A superhighway big enough to handle both today's traffic and the traffic the future will bring. A safe road with a wide center mall and wide lanes to make passing safe and easy. And the wonderful thing, it won't cost the people of the state a cent in taxes. Those who use the throughway will pay all the costs of its construction and maintenance. The plans are complete. Some sections of the throughway are already in use. Others are now under construction. And everywhere, the throughway is the promise of increased prosperity for all the citizens of New York State. Today, as so often in the past, the nation's eyes are on Albany. For today, with three quarters of the nation's goods being transported by truck, with motor vehicle registration of all kinds climbing steadily to new peaks, cities and states across the nation are faced with the need for dramatic action if traffic is not to strangle industry. And from Albany, capital city of the nation's richest and most populous state, there is coming just such dramatic action. The Thruway Program, the most far-reaching, most ambitious highway program ever undertaken. The program is already underway in the Capital District today.
Here, your state highway engineers chart the course of the new throughway as it approaches Albany from the Catskills and swings across the southern side of the city to join the Mohawk Thruway section and the west. In the new Scotland Avenue area, giant pan scrapers, bulldozers, shovels, and carryalls are at work. This is the Albany portion of the throughway you saw marked on the map as a solid black line, the connecting link between the south and the west. Since the money for throughway construction will come from special bonds of the throughway authority, not from state highway funds, Highway funds will be available for local road projects in the capital district. Projects such as the east-west arterial road spanning the northern side of the city, the crosstown arterial, and improved roads to our neighboring cities. For instance, trucks from New York City in the south can either bypass Albany's main streets and roll on to Buffalo and beyond, or take the throughway spur to Schenectady and the north. Today, between Broadway and Altamont Avenue, construction in the new spur linking Albany and Schenectady, 15 miles apart, is being pushed rapidly to completion. Famous for the production of locomotives and electronic equipment, Schenectady has a vital stake in this throughway program. For Schenectady, second largest capital district city, employs an impressive percentage of the area's 88,000 wage earners, contributes handsomely to the district's annual $250 million payroll. How the albany Schenectady connection will cut driving time in half is already well known to motorists now using the new Route 7, the Schenectady-Troy Road. This broad four-lane express highway is typical of the new roads made possible because the throughway itself will be financed by special bonds, thus freeing regular state highway funds for work like this. Think of the savings in time and money roads like this will mean. And savings in transportation costs can mean lower prices for everyone. The city of Troy, world famous for its celebrated Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, as well as being the manufacturing city of shirts and collars, is finding the new throughway arterials a help to its busy economy. One of the principal shopping centers in the capital district, Troy serves the surrounding countryside in addition to its own population. This means that people must come in on wheels, that better roads are essential. Today's counterpart of the great inland waterways that once played so important a role in the development of the capital district is the throughway system of transportation. Nine miles of the catskill Saugerties throughway section are already open south of the city. This is the marvelous superhighway we New Yorkers are building for all the nation to see. This is the throughway today. Your throughway, this is an aerial view of the finished sections near Syracuse, is the heart of a plan that will bring New York State opportunities for the greatest industrial and economic development ever known. For 85% of the state's population lives within a few miles of the route of this marvelous superhighway. Its extra wide lanes promise increased driving safety. Its straight flat route without a single light or crossroad promises a new era in comfort, convenience, and motoring economy. Albany, like all the cities along the throughway's route, will benefit from the throughway program in many ways. Important among them will be relief in traffic congestion. For unless traffic can flow easily, permitting free access to shops and stores, the commerce, which is the city's very existence, will be stifled. Traffic jams, all too familiar to the people of the Capital District, will be materially reduced as the throughway takes many trucks out of the cities, putting an end to lines of stalled motor cars inching along bumper to bumper at tremendous costs in time, money, and irritating inconvenience. Of greater importance, each truck the throughway takes off city streets means greater safety for our children. 
workers in the capital district many of whom live long distances from their places of work have become resigned to the congested traffic conditions during the peak hours of travel these bottlenecks will be broken at the new General Electric plant in Syracuse, for instance, throughway planning has already removed much of the rush hour congestion. Today, workers roll home along Electronic Parkway, a parkway typical of the arterial thoroughfares planned for the capital district. Wherever the throughway goes, new industries follow. Plants such as these being built along the throughway in the Rochester and Syracuse area are typical of the industrial progress the Albany area may well expect. The throughway will bring new housing developments, will build whole new communities. For with good roads, people can live where they like and shop where they like. For the farmer, the throughway brings nearer the day when hard roads will replace the unsurfaced roads which now lead to his farm. For because the throughway will be financed by special bonds, state highway funds that would otherwise be needed for major cross-state roads will be available for local highway projects, for hard roads for farmers. So the 53,000 people who live on the Capital District's farms will be among those to benefit most from the throughway program. Though many of us sometimes forget it, Albany is one of the few U.S. inland ports open to ocean-going vessels and its seaborne commerce will quickly reflect the new highway improvements. And think what the throughway will mean to our state's vacation lands, where already over two billion dollars are spent every year. Bringing new vacation dollars into the capital district, the throughway will also provide for the holiday-minded residents of the district, with quick and easy access to New York State parks and vacation spots from Long Island to the Great Lakes. Yes, this is the wide open road your state is building for your future. A road on which you and your family may ride at safe speeds and in modern comfort. A throughway that can be converted overnight for civil or military defense in any emergency. A throughway only users will pay for that won't cost the people of the state one cent in taxes. A throughway that will bring the capital district, its industries and its people, a truly greater tomorrow.